graduations are a big deal and something really special to celebrate. Doing a stacked or a shaped cake, usually it catches people off guard a little because they'll look at it twice and think, oh, I never would have thought to make a cake that looks like that. This cake was inspired by a letter jacket cake I made several years ago, and it was a flat cake. Uh, it just became really popular in my bakery. We got a lot of orders for it. Well then, I kind of wanted to do something similar but a little different twist on it, so I changed it to a graduation gown and added the pleats of fabric. So first I started with a 12-inch square cake and I crumb coated it. You just need a little bit of icing to get the fondant to stick, so I don't apply it too thick. I did add some supports because I was going to add a pretty heavy fondant cake on top of that. And then I finished the crumb coating and rolled out the yellow fondant to cover the entire cake. And then once it's smoothed all the way down to the board, I'll go around with the fondant smoother just to make sure that it's right where I want it before I trim off the excess with the pizza roller. The second tier is an eight inch double layer cake. And I just crumb coated that a little because we were gonna add a lot of fondant to it. Um, then I was rolling out sheets of the blue fondant and I would cut it into sections and create the pleats and add them section by section to create the look that the whole cake is draped in a pleated graduation gown. The fondant circle I added on top of the gown just kind of finished off that look. You kind of need to um, finish your rough edges when those pleats come up. So that kind of symbolizes the neckline on the gown. And then I went around and added a stitching detail with a little wheel tool that I have with little notches on it that kind of creates that look of stitch marks. So it even um, adds more detail to the fabric look. Creating the uh, cap and mortarboard on top, I used a hemisphere pan to bake a half ball shaped cake. Crumb coated that lightly and laid the blue fondant over that as well. I covered both sides of a piece of cardboard cut for the mortarboard and attached that to the top of the half ball. Those went on top of the cake and then I finished that off with a fondant tassel. I'm very meticulous. I kind of get lost in my work. Like I just really get focused in and zoned in and that's what gives me the most, I guess, gratification out of it. And the details have everything to do with that. Precision and the details. With fondant, another really neat thing you can do with it is mold it with silicone molds. So for the cord around the graduation cake, I use a rope mold. The fondant will really just pick up every little detail inside those molds, and some of them get very detailed, and that's a really cool way to make things look not like sugar, like something completely different. I really like to add metallics to my cakes. It just adds a little pop of shine, kind of adds some different texture, just give it a, enough contrast to really make certain details stand out. Customers love it when I come up with ideas to make their order more unique to them. We could make the gown look just like the gown the graduate's gonna wear on the day of their ceremony. We could incorporate school colors. I could make the metal and the cords look just like what they're gonna wear. And that makes it really special for the customer because it's actually made just for them. Because that shows a customer that we really do care. And, and I do care and it's fun and makes me happy too.